Right, I'm live. Andrea is coming along. She's just gone to get me a glass of water. Okay, let me just check everything's working. It's been the usual mad rush to get everything done. We're live, by the way. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, first off, can you hear me? Can you see me can or you us? Can hear me, Mother? Thank you. I'm just being kind and getting Nick some water. <laughs> I don't think I'm muted. And I can see the mic's plugged yes, in. It seems to be working. Hi, everyone. It's working. I can hear you. Thanks, Peter. Fabulous. Right. Welcome to our Sunday live haul. I've noticed I really caught the sun today. Yeah. My nose is red. My forehead's rather red. I've yeah. got tan lines again. I know. <laughs> we're going to be stripey going away. We're going away on holiday soon. I'm going to turn up looking just ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I saw Zaheer's live stream earlier yes, as yeah. you did uh, i'm sure a lot of you saw that and zahir has announced that he's going to shave all his hair off for charity which i think is just fantastic i'll actually put the link below to that if you didn't catch Zaheer's video go and watch it anyway but the link to um donate to macmillan cancer is below and i think sometime in october is it sixth of october He's going to shave, shave yeah. all his hair off. And this live. is for the their first anniversary of the yeah. um, Friday chin wag. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was epic. Um, yeah. So what we've been up to? We've been boot sailing today, but we were selling. Yeah, we didn't sell a lot though. It was a bit rubbish. It was a bit crap. We normally do at least two, if not three or four, boot sales a year to, just to move stock that we've yeah. ended up with that isn't worth doing anything with. Um, to sell personal stuff to do whatever normally we we easily make 100 200 pounds yeah i don't even know what we took today i think yeah. i spent more than i took yeah, definitely <laughs> because i've kind of fell off the wagon and picked up some stuff hence in the title it says it's going to be a little bit of a haul we didn't get a lot because we weren't we weren't there to buy but i just kept wandering off and buying bits yeah i was quite restrained but we did go to our favorite charity shop afterwards and i ended up buying some stuff yeah have but you got I, that no it's still in the car Oh, okay. So anyway, we will share some bits. I still haven't finished my dinner. I'm going to have to heat my dinner up after You'll this. You'll have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a mad rush. Yeah. Right, I I'm might gonna... actually share the clothes that I bought on um, Insta Stories. So, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Right. Other things, we're going to um, announce the winner of the competition we've been running over on the Tat Chat Facebook group. Again, link to that is below, which is just blown up over there. It's like... What are we on? 600 odd members. Oh, um, Kat what? says, oh my God, that Disney mug. I know. It's gorgeous. This, yeah, I'll, I'll it. share that in a bit. <laughs> Didn't have a chance to look it up though. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here's in. I can see there. Hi, mate. Oh, yeah. You two are real tat addicts. Yeah, like yeah. you're not. <laughs> okay. I think we all are, aren't we? Let's be fair. That's why we're all here. Because yep. we love the tat. We can't get enough of it. <laughs> but I was just saying about the uh, the Facebook group um if you weren't around last week you didn't catch any of the live streams um we teamed up with zahir and beck and launched a facebook page well a group that you can join to support our live streams and channels and it's just so much fun in there uh it's i think it's about 600 people in there now is it nearly yeah we're, we're touching that amount if not and gone uh, over it now and we ran yeah. a competition in there to celebrate our two millionth view uh, to win eBay lights, eBay Christmas lights. I just want to interrupt you because um, Karen, CP Crafts has sent us five pounds in super chat. Thank you so much, Karen, um, for this week's milestone. Thanks to you and Z and knowledge in your chats. And your milestone was amazing. So yeah, thank you so much. Wow, thanks CP Crafts. Yeah. What was the milestone? I know I read it. Was that a sales milestone? Yeah, she posted a 60 day. In, that's um, right. Yeah, fantastic. 60 day. Yeah, that's right. 60 day. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. That's so generous of you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to announce in a minute the winner of. Yeah. And also, can I just say happy birthday to Lisa Fenn? Because it's her birthday. Oh, yeah. Today. So happy birthday, Lisa. I'll, I'll give up trying to finish that sentence. It was funny because I posted that in the tap chat and then <laughs> and then she said, thanks, Nick. And I said, well, actually, it's Andrea, but never mind. <laughs> it was confusing if we post on our is. Nick and Andrea. Yeah. Thing. Oh, happy dance. Sorry. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah. Dancing monkey. 
Okay, I need to scroll back. I don't, I'll be able to get back to the beginning. There's been people chatting in there for ages. Yeah. Oh no, that was the beginning. So first in today, I think, if I have gone right back, is Bum Crack Picker, my favorite YouTube handle. Uh, then we've got Lucy was in there at the beginning. Blitz, Blitz was the guy we met up yes. north, wasn't he? Yeah, hi mate. Uh, Peter, Jason, Adam, Glitter, Sunflower, Maria, Adam, Kelsey, lots of people popped in to say hi so as i said we do have a little bit of a haul uh, of stuff we picked up whilst trying to clear stuff at the boot sale did you organize some sales as well and we're going to share a few interesting sales from this week yeah i i did that when i was meant to be eating dinner yeah well i was busy cooking so i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't do anything it's been mad well i got back from the boot sale and i just passed out i had an epic man snooze yeah. for like... if you saw my insta stories then i went and had a really nice lush bath <laughs> You were snoozing. I thought, oh, I've got to read my book. What, you were live streaming from in the bath? No, I did. I had a lush bath bomb and I put it on Instagram. Just <laughs> don't understand any of that. Right. I, didn't look, oh, I, well, I wasn't in it. <laughs> you weren't Obviously. You wasn't in the bath? No, I wasn't in it at that moment when I was. So you live streamed the... a picture of your bath? Well, the, the um, a video of the bath bomb fizzing up. Oh. <laughs> right and it's not really okay. live streaming it's insta stories it's different oh you didn't live uh, okay i was going to do that from the boots i was going to do one of those fa facebook live streams i know we we're a bit dejected though weren't we yeah there was there was just no punters there buying really mm. it was odd yeah i think if we'd have really gone for it looking for stuff today at that boot sales would have we'd have got loads yeah. we did meet a subscriber whose name i forget i remember his name is greg so if you're watching greg, greg it was very really good to meet you today yeah what the facebook group i was chatting about greg uh, there'll be a link below if you couldn't find that yeah um right so i'm gonna do the competition winner okay go for it i'll, I'll try to keep my mouth shut and stop yeah. interrupting you <laughs> um so yeah we ran a competition for our two million view celebration um and I did write it down over on the pay the touch up group. It was really it was randomly picked, wasn't it? Yeah, I just scrolled through. And this is how technical it was. I was scrolling up and down the list of 132 people who commented over there, yeah. uh, and then I just bing, touched the screen, <laughs> and whoever it was on. This is how technical I am. Uh, is the winner and the winner came up as andrea raystrick yes who is falling on a bruise falling on a bruise sure. i don't know if she's in the chat today actually and then you said once i'd done that you came in and said yeah, that she's actually had an me. awful day yeah, hasn't she? a terrible day because somebody's broken into her allotment and um set their dogs and her chickens and stolen her goat so she's got lots of dead chickens it's it, just horrendous it was it? only just, last week she was sharing oh, pictures of all her animals with me and, and others on the group it just doesn't even bear thinking about and someone stole the goat imagine, yeah why would you steal a goat i know and what gets into people's heads why oh. why would you do something like that so i know it's, it's the awful. tiny thing but andrea it might bring a smile to your face we will be sending you light up christmas ebay lights and wherever it's gone the ebay addict mug so um pm me on facebook or i'll pm you actually and we'll sort out the address and we'll get that sent over so happy days and so sorry down. about your animals that's just sickening what am i doing scroll down because oh. you can't see the chat when you let it when you pause it um oh, oh someone mentioned my t-shirt yeah actually my daughter or our daughter ellen is way yeah, more into them than i had about fallout boy i was into them briefly sort of in the early 2000s yeah. um but yeah ellen's got loads of their vinyl and stuff now mm -hmm. isn't she big fan okay i'm going to scroll past if there were any questions or comments that i've missed i do apologize this just like a badly cooked turkey was that me <laughs> <laughs> I just, you are looking very just red, noticed I'm andy's saying. comment yeah, I didn't put any sun cream on my face. Nick's yeah. hair looking like Tintin. I did the back of your neck. But... Oh dear. You should join Zaheer, Nick, and shave yours. <sighs> well, I could. I've, I've shaved mine off before. Good that day. wouldn't be a yeah. big deal for me. Yeah. We there, there is a, um, plans to do something else for charity at some point. I'm not going to steal Zaheer's thunder, but we've talked with Zaheer about doing something else. Um, but yeah, we'll let's hear do do this thing first yeah, and we'll get that done because that's such an later. epic idea but yeah 
we will be doing something else. We've got a great idea. Um, right, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Falling on a bruise, wasn't it? That was Andrea's yes. tag or whatever you call it. I don't think she's in. But no. I will message Andrea to let her know about the prizes. What else we were going to say? Oh, well, I didn't know that one man right was a vegan. It's just said. I know. It's just can't can't even get my head around it. It's just bad enough when chickens are taken by foxes, but you kind of something in that you understand because it's just it's nature, isn't it? But yep. when when someone does something like that. Well, my sister has chickens and they've lost their chickens to foxes mm -hmm. two or three times. They they put massive like six, seven foot fences up and the foxes are so tenacious they just yeah. figure out a way in yeah. but like you say that's nature when people are doing it it's just sickening makes you it so is. angry it's evil um i'm nearly as red as a here apparently says lucy <laughs> <laughs> excellent um this week sales on ebay have been good really consistent about the same turnover as last week amazon's been right down but i haven't sent any new stock stock up in fact i've been getting stuff returned uh, I've even had a few bits destroyed that weren't worth having returned mm -hmm. because we're imminently we're going to have the long term storage fees. So I'm reducing my stock holding up there. So Amazon numbers have been down, but eBay have been really good. And we had an annoying return. Uh, I think I shared our sale for the Sylvanian families. Hotel. Yeah, well, we haven't had it returned yet, but they have um, opened a return. It went GSP to France and it's turned up damaged. Um, but I'm really hoping we're going to be able to, you know, leave that problem at eBay's door because it went GSP. Um, a bit of the roof has, roof has been smashed off. A part of the hinge has been broken. So we're hoping that eBay are going to cover that and we will keep our hundred pounds, but just annoying. Yeah, I know. It's really annoying. And we also, this was slightly annoying. We get this a fair bit. Somebody didn't go to the post office and pick up their package so this has come back so i've now got the pay to send it to them again it's only Luton. it's only like half an hour down the road i could just drive it there but it's like i know oh, it's just so annoying that people don't um, go and pick their stuff up just quickly sam wildman said can you please say hi to my husband dustin he's trying to join the live chat but he's struggling so hi hi dustin hi dustin <laughs> Yeah, you should be able to join the live chat, even on mobile and stuff. You should be able to find it. Mm. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, OK. What's that about penguins? Foxes <laughs> penguins. got out oh, the look. penguins in Chessington. Um, Andrea's oh my God. in the chat now. Oh, Andrea, I don't know if you missed it. We, we did a random draw for the prize and it was you. So contact me or I'll contact you and we'll sort out getting your eBay lights and your ebay mug over to you we were just talking um andrew was telling me about the the horrendous day you've had with your animals um so we're really sorry to hear that hopefully that'll put a smile on your face it's, it's, it's no compensation. it's no compensation whatsoever <laughs> but yeah uh congratulations on that so yeah we're having a return possibly for the house but i think ebay is going to cover it yeah i hope so um it's, it's gsp and it's so i just i don't understand why they repackage things you know we spent all that time well we don't know if it was repackaged well, we, but i packaged that so say, well i know we spent all that time you know really you know working hard on packaging it and then yeah then it arrives broken oh, i don't know i have heard people say that the global shipping program does repackage items in which case that would make sense because the little one of the little finials on top of the roof had been like knocked off it wasn't even completely off it's just knocked over but i put i built a little cardboard shield to go around it it was bubble wrapped to hell and then this little cardboard cover just around that finial and it still got smashed so that would make sense that someone's opened it took all the bubble wrap off and everything i don't yeah, know no it would that would totally make sense because i watched you do it and um, with that thought that that was bit was sticking out yeah I've just had an um, eBay message. Was that a sale? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Tamara Marshall says, um, Nick, can I please follow you on eBay? I have a few questions and would like to buy some things from you. Um, well, if you have any questions, if anybody has any questions, because we do get quite a lot of this, people send us questions through eBay, which aren't eBay related or um, to do with any sort of sales or anything. Um, so 
if you want to contact us, we have um, a blog, which is, uh, I think, the link to link that below. Under, in our description. Or a Facebook um, page. And there's um, a contact us option on there. Um, also, we've got a reselling page. Um, it's just, um, what is it? Nick and Andrea Adventures in the Reselling links below. It's page. Um, and you can contact us through eBay or messages um, if you ever need to ask us any questions at all. So we would prefer it if you did that rather than go through eBay because eBay can be a bit funny and sometimes we you know they've been giving people like three month bans or three week yeah bans so private messages anyway things, and so. we'll, we'll sort it out and and yeah and if you want to buy any particular items we can sort that out for you yeah not a problem okay i feel like i'm rambly tonight i'm not making much sense are you tired mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay let me scroll down I contacted eBay, this is Callum, I contacted eBay about something they damaged and I asked, do they repackage? They said they don't unless they're unless going through customs. I asked about GSP postage, they said I have to refund that as well. Mm, well, okay. we can only wait and see. Yeah, I'll give happens. them a call on Monday and see what happens. Uh, I have 145 items waiting to dispatch on Monday, says Shazad. That's wow, that's a, fantastic. That's a shed load of orders. <laughs> Gonna be busy. We've got nowhere near that, but we've got quite a few going yeah, out, I think. We do have a lot. We've had a good weekend. Yeah, you've had some good sales as well, some clothing, which is good. Um, oh, Tamara says, can't do Facebook. Well, go to our blog and then you can just send it. It comes through to our um, email. So uh, if you go through the contact bit on our blog, then it will come through to our email. We'll answer you from there. Yeah, no worries. Um, so here it says, I feel GSP customers are now playing the system, mm. potentially, Z, yeah. I mean, mm. yeah, I don't know how this is going to pan out. We had a similar one, didn't we, um, that GSP settled for us. Yeah. So anyway, it's just annoying because it was a nice sale. It was £100. I was really pleased it sold quickly, and now it's damaged, and they're kicking off. Yeah. Um, um, anyway. Chick says that uh, Nick, I had an item delivered damaged to USA via GSP and buyer was refunded fully from eBay. Yes, we had a similar one that was ended that way. I'm just hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll get the same result. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, shall we do a bit of a haul first? Yeah. And then we'll do some sales. Yeah. Happy days. Okay, so if you've only just joined us, we went to at the boot sale, but we were actually there selling. We didn't get a lot of custom, there wasn't a lot of footfall. But of course, I did sneak off and bought a few bits. Um, somebody said uh, earlier about the mug that they managed to see in, just sat there, that these are just the mug goes for about 12 or something. I think oh, I, I didn't see that. But this is new. It's still got its attached to it with its tag there, the little piglet. Uh, it's like got some raised bits. It's a gold one. And he just says, oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I was reading it backwards in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. With tags and the and the figure, 15, 20, something like that. You're silly. <laughs> you think? And I paid a pound on that one uh, from the same stall. Um, not big money in these, but it's an instant bundle. It scrubs, but it's the complete. It's all the way up to the final ninth series. Uh, they wanted 50p uh, a DVD, so it's £4.50. I sold that before, and I think I got 20 last time. So, simple. Oh, one of them is rattling around. Just be careful with that. Um, these, we went up to a store, didn't we? And we spoke to a young yeah. a young girl on the store, and I said, oh, how much are your books? These are Lemony Snicket. These are the paperbacks. I've not had the paperback versions. Uh, the complete one to 13. I said, oh, how much are your books? And she went, oh, three pounds. I said, okay, that's cool. Bought these and then you picked up some. Yeah, some Converse. They were a little bit worn. They weren't in the best of condition, I said, but they were unusual. <coughs> and so I said, oh, how much for your Converse? She says, oh, three pounds. And I thought, brilliant. So I was just about to get my money out. And then her mum came along and said, um, oh, no, 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 they're 10 pounds. You don't, you know, not let them go for any less than 10 pounds. And then I, I just, thought I'd find out how much her Doc Martens were. She wanted £40 for her Doc Martens. And but, I just laughed and walked away. Well, they were just opposite us and down a little bit because we were there selling. And funnily enough, when they packed up, all of their pairs of Converse and the Doc Martens were still there. So yeah. 
you know, if you want that sort of money, I'm afraid you need to stick them on eBay because you're not going to get that very easily at a car boot. Oh, I picked up a scarf. I love scarves. I'm, I've got quite a collection growing yeah, of scarves. Oh, you're a scarf addict. This is a proper like Tom Baker, huge thing. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a nice it's make a as well. One. It is very nice. Hobbs of London. Yeah. Mm. No, you have a bit of a scarf fetish. <laughs> not fetish. What are you like? <laughs> you always pick up scarves. <laughs> uh, I've not had one of these for a while. This is a good make. Um, Confidence. It's one of the little swimming vests with floats in. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually new. It's got its little packaging around it, which I think it is new. You know, it's it's all like still strapped in. Um, trying to think i did look this up briefly i'm going to shoot for about 15 on that that was 50 pence right time of year for those as well it's summer lots of people are going on holiday uh, another stall he was a dealer he knew his stuff well he knew there was value in the stuff he had i got the impression he was more of a collector than a dealer he well either way he clearing some of his collection yeah he knew the stuff had value but mm. there was some money in what i managed to pick up uh, for the pair of these, I got them for £12. So everybody knows this by now. This is the original big box with the demo disc in of Crash Bandicoot. I'm going to shoot for, I'm probably going to send this FBA and shoot for 40 on that. Really, really nice condition, actually. It's not mint as he described it, mm. but yeah, actually it's nowhere near mint. There's a couple of little marks on it, but yeah, really good condition nonetheless. Got its manual, which is all important if you're going to try and get top end on games. The collector's funny about this stuff so yeah that was really nice and as part of the 12 pound that i paid there's this now it's an officially licensed nintendo product these are called the mini classics i don't know how many there is in the set like there's five or six different ones of these i think i thought it would be worth a lot more probably only a tenner uh, and i don't know if you can see but it's sun faded all across here it should be green like this but it's all sun faded a little bit bleached so yeah that wasn't great but my money's there anyway so if i can get a tenner out of that get 50 quid on the pair i'm happy yeah. so oh you picked these up you picked up a couple of bits didn't you but yeah these are um river island shoes you can see uh, the nice it does the color doesn't really come out um in this light sort but of they a are a little bit burgundy -ish. yeah they're burgundy they've not been worn um the soles are they're really chunky they're like yeah they're really nice but as you can see i picked them up well first of all they're my size so if they fit me i might keep them but <laughs> but they're also all there's completely synthetic i don't know if you can see the symbols on there so yeah as you know i'm vegan so i don't pick up leather shoes anymore but yeah they're in fantastic condition so i thought I'd give them a go so you don't know um, values or anything I don't have no. them up. Okay. Um, I got a few soft toys. The only one of, of any particular interest was this little Care Bear. I forgot to put a battery in. I was going to put a battery in for the video, see if I could make him oh, work. Yeah. I think he's a talking one. I think we've got another one like that. Yeah. Not the same Care Bear, but one similar. This isn't a vintage and Care Bear. I just need to interrupt you and tell you that Electronic Firing Squad has Ooh. given us a super chat of $5. Thanks to you, I've bought and sold half a dozen hard bought and sold half a dozen hard head, hard head for atari game cartridges in the last month yeah that'd be <laughs> but quite, thank you so much that would be super epic chat. if you'd managed to find six of them See, I, that was why i paused because i thought what <laughs> and then i realized you were joking thanks yeah. for the super chat really That's appreciate brilliant. that thank you Happy yeah hard head i still look back <laughs> to that and I'm, I'm still amazed that we managed to pull that off um yeah, this guy, he's a modern one. There won't be much money in him. Uh, we do have a few Care Bears that we're going to probably yeah. bundle up. So, yeah, he was nice. I've got four soft toys for a pound, uh, a couple of other interesting little bits and bobs. But, it's, yeah. It's difficult to resist a Care Bear. I bought him in because he is, he's got one of these little voice boxes in, and I was going to stick batteries in, I just ran out of time. I don't know what he says or what he does. No, we'll, you can, we'll find You can out, sit there we? and cuddle that. Um <laughs> At the end, I had a quick wander before we came home. And weirdly, Zaheer shared in his haul that he had another one of these, which is the same model that I had when I was up at Zaheer's place. And he found one of these at the same boot sale. I found one. And then today, whilst Zaheer was picking up one, I picked up one myself. And they were both 50p? No, this one was a pound. Oh, was it? I paid double what Z did. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so easy little flip on eBay of that. Yeah. And then I picked up a Polaroid from the same guy for a pound as well. I've never seen this type. I did find out how to open it. Popped up like that. But I don't know why, but these don't seem very good. People were selling them for around £10 was the top. So that's not great. Not a fail, but I won't make a lot of money on it. But yeah, £2 for the pair of those. And then we we went to a stall. And you actually knew the lady, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, our kids used to do disco dancing together. Um, oh, is that where you knew her from? Yeah. They used to compete together and stuff. Oh, did she used to go to the competitions with us? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, she was selling off her daughter's stuff, toys, games, all sorts. And I picked up a bundle of Ever After High dolls. Now, I'm going to share a little bit later a couple of sales we've had on Ever After High uh, of new ones. There is some value in these um, used. No one in the same, obviously. But yeah, it's... I don't know how you'd spot... They, they've got slightly bigger heads yeah. than... They look a little bit like Monster High, but they're a little bit chunkier and the heads are bigger. Are they Hasbro? I think they are, because Monster High is Hasbro. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's loads. And these are based on fairy stories. So anyway, there was loads. Oh, no, Mattel, sorry, not Mattel. Hasbro. I meant that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. they had nine of these, and I got the lot for £6. I did briefly look into people that have been bundling them. They're really well made things. They're really nicely sculpted as well. They do yeah. remind me of, of uh, Monster High. And ugh, a similar bundles. I saw a similar bundle go and buy it now for 95. Don't know if that's because it had some particularly rare ones in or whatever. A uh, bundle of 10 went for 67. Bundle of 11 went for 71. Another bundle of 11 I saw end at 90. That okay. may depend on whether you've got some rare ones in there. I really yeah, don't know. Yeah. But also, there were many, boy many. One, haven't we? For some reason, they're always. Boy ones tend to have some value because they're not sold in big numbers, I think. Um, but there were, just as a caveat to that, there were a lot of listings of bundles of Ever After High ending around the 20 to 30 pound mark. I don't think I'm going to do it on auction. I tried another auction of Monster High, which I'll share with you in a bit, and I was unimpressed with how that ended. So I'm probably not going to mess around with auctions on this sort of thing anymore um I'll share that in a minute tomorrow's just asking do you still have the medium box set for sale medium box set oh as in the tv show medium i think i assume so i don't think i've got any medium box sets oh i sent some to amazon ages oh. ago that might be what it is i then. don't know if they've watched a, an old haul video recently or something but no i don't no nope. um all stuff oh yeah i oh, was so here says he thinks zara has them ever after high i think they're a bit nicer than the monster high i don't like them really don't you? <laughs> no. they're a bit scary for you <laughs> yeah. um i picked up this is really nice i do nostalgia editions of monopoly scrabble cluedo several of the you know the classic games i picked up this sealed it's still factory sealed a nostalgia edition in a wooden box of cluedo uh, i'm just going to shut that blind because i'm feeling like a well our neighbors have moved out now yeah so... they're gone <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not out there for a smoke every 10 minutes but someone just walked past and he's peered in i feel yeah. a bit weird um yeah paid a fiver for this um i did quickly look it up the cheapest FBA currently on Amazon is at 80 pounds, eight zero. Don't know how achievable that is, but I'd have nothing to lose if I sent it in. Uh, the only one I found recently that had sold that was sealed on eBay went for 25, but I wouldn't sell it for that. That's gonna be sent up for Christmas at FBA. And if I can shoot for 80 and get it, I will have a go. Definitely. So that was nice. Definitely. Um can you pop that maybe I'm on the floor? Am I your glamorous assistant? Yeah. And then the same stall for two pounds was Diagon Alley, which is uh, you can't can't really call it vintage, can you yet? Early Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Um, I've never had one in this nice condition. Really, really nice. Everything's all bagged up inside. All the coins and stuff. Quite often they're missing coins. Haven't checked it yet, but I do have spares for this, so it shouldn't be a problem. 
Um, I think the last one of these I sold on Amazon, I got forty pounds for at Christmas. You, I may have to wait till Christmas, but that was really nice to find that. Just lovely condition, considering its age. It's yeah, looks like it's fresh off the shelf. So that was nice to find. You have that one. Uh, a downfall, just standard. You know me, I like picking up the board games. You like a downfall. Yeah. Um, nothing else really exciting. Was this for you? This set? No. Are you going to sell that? I wasn't sure, but it was it was new and in its box, so I thought I'd give it a go. It was only a pound. Just took so a pound. So it's yeah. Grace. Grace. Cole? I just thought with Christmas coming up, it was worth taking. Yeah, a chance definitely. On. That was a pound, was it? I mean, even if we re-gift it. <laughs> yep. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs, but nothing exciting. But yeah, that's that. Let me dip in the chat and have a look. Altered Beast is a great game. Why are they talking about Altered Beast? I, I remember know. playing that on um, it's on Sega. I played that. Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> Had a nice... Um, couple of sales on amazon of i sent some mega drive games up to amazon which i've not done before i sent nintendo stuff mainly up to amazon yeah. um so that was nice to get some sales up there that 20 pounds for a game that i thought was a real bog standard thing well gary's back he's packaged his dvds <laughs> oh hi gary um okay shall we share some sales yes okay how are we doing for time half past cool Right, what we'll do is we'll go in and share a few sales. I need to move my dinner. <laughs> right, oh, let's do dear. this. So, screen share. If only you could see the chaos in front of us. <laughs> There's just crap everywhere. <laughs> um, right, have I got the right window open? Yes. That one, that one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll share a few interesting sales uh, from this week. Right, you should be able to see this. We were talking about Ever After High. Um, yeah, this is one that we picked up from the Jumble Trail, or whatever we called it. Um, yep. And what did we pay for it? Was it five? But, well, we, we paid £15, and it included a, I think it was a Panasonic DVD recorder, yeah. which I probably would have paid 15 for on its own. Yeah. It's a good one. And a weird Sony little personal organizer yeah, thing that's a, a bit of a fail <laughs> but i might get a tenner back on it and this that you took a punt on and yeah. as you can see <laughs> blew my mind a little bit that know, went that went really for 60 crazy. but it went within a day or so didn't it yeah um so yeah if you see them boxed pick them up i they think they don't always go for that much because we've sold another one today and that was only 30. yep yeah, this one i've got it so... here so i think that's like an earlier series or something because if you look at the packaging on that it's slightly different or maybe it's uh, i don't know actually very similar <laughs> yeah the packaging looks like a book so on the the spine it looks like the pages of a book oh i'd never noticed that so yeah that was a, a boy one uh he went for 30 uh was that today yeah cool um and we have a couple left that are listed I do have a contact of a woman that I actually bought this one from at a car boot sale. Mm. I bought three of her at five pounds each. Um, and she had, she said she had loads more in storage. I took her number and I messaged her the other day and she got back to me and said, I'll let you know how many I've got and we'll do a deal. And I've had nothing back. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm gonna, I'll mm. text her tonight. Um, she was talking lots and lots, like big numbers of these. Yeah, that would and, be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I can buy a lot, then happy days. Now, this was the Monster High bundle. I, I did a Monster High bundle a couple of weeks back and decided to do it on auction. What did we get for that last one? 50? 50, 51, I think? Yeah, it was over 50, didn't it? So I did the same with this one, and I'm pretty disappointed at that, to be quite frank. I don't think I'll bother experimenting with auction on these again. Um, this is the risk you, you run when you do auction. I think on buy it now, I could have achieved 50 quite easily um it just didn't work out on that one and that is the gamble you take with auction you know th yeah. there are no guarantees i know it works for some people and i've been using it a little bit more recently to clear old stock just listing it on auction with my buy it now price as the starting price yeah and that's worked with very varied results but yeah low start auctions it's just a gamble 
and didn't particularly work out. I think I could have got 50 on buy it now. But these are the Monster High. We were talking about these earlier. They look, they're, they're skinnier. Their heads aren't quite as wide as the Ever After Highs. And these all look a bit sort of monstery. <laughs> <Funny> that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was those. They've gone. There was, there was still a fair chunk of profit in it, but slightly disappointed with those. Um, this we picked up on that yard sale trail again. Yeah. Paid a fiver for the bundle. Uh, quick flip at £30, although that's got shipping included. I, just, I mix it up with including shipping and adding shipping on. Uh, video games, I tend to add the shipping into the cost. Um, in that category, that's just kind of how it's done. Most people just have free shipping on. Yeah. Uh, and I've just got into that habit and it works for me. So, yep, 30 quid all in from a fiver. Happy days. This was one of yours. Yeah, this is uh, my Ted Baker's dress sale. Um, it actually went for 30, I think, wasn't it? 31. 31. Yeah, I've shared it on the um, our Facebook page as well and on Instagram. Um, yeah, I mean, this has actually been listed for quite a while and I did start it quite high and I've dropped the price since. And then um, somebody messaged and said, would I accept an offer? And they offered three three or four pen no, four pounds less to include the postage so basically they paid 35 but it was inclusive of their postage cost yeah we get that a fair bit yeah. i've had that on a lot of my stuff people will basically take the postage amount off and then make you an offer for four pounds less yeah to just get free shipping <laughs> oh, excuse me but i mean you you are more than happy with that anyway oh, aren't yeah, you? because what was this a pound rail thing yeah so from a pound you can't grumble um yeah nice sale that one this is my i'm still clearing 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 old stock these have sat around for over a year um this smaller set at the bottom was complete the other two were nowhere near they were missing bits and bobs well actually that one was was quite complete this one had bits missing and i just i didn't know what to do with them yeah. So I just bundled them, made up a price out of thin air and got rid. And there's still a fair chunk of profit in it. I reckon they probably owe me a fiver for the lot. Yeah. Um, but I just not tackled them because they were incomplete and I wasn't sure what to do. In the end, it was an easy listing and they sold within a couple of days. So, yeah, it's great. And they were bulky, so it's space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this sold quick as well. Another one of these uh, Mack trucks. I mean, Cars 3 is out currently. Yeah. Uh, so car stuff will be probably picking up in in sales. Uh, I've got 15 for that, despite the fact that it, it takes batteries. And this little button on the top, you press that and it's supposed to do something. When we bought it, there's actually footage of us buying this at a yard sale thing. And he said, oh, yeah, it makes noises when you press the button, blah, blah, blah. It didn't work. Oh. So obviously I, I disclosed that, but still sold and sold in a couple of days. Um, well, you can see it takes batteries, but when I put some in, I couldn't make it work, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, pleased with that. Another one of yours? Yeah, this uh, took another offer on this, so I actually sold it for 15. Um, but that was literally on for two days, wasn't it? Um, Patchouli. I just listed this, li listed it this week. Yeah. I probably could have held out for more, but I just, you know, again, it was a, a pound item, so... Just You've got so much gear. Sale. Yeah. Just get rid. <laughs> and we're both you know, everyone must know what it feels like. You just want to sell stuff, don't you? Like, we're yeah. both in that frame of mind. And we're actually quite enjoying it. No, I am. Yeah. You know, just clearing stuff. So yeah, that was a nice sale. This was another yard yard sale trail pickup of yours. <laughs> Not um, easy to say. <laughs> was it three or four pounds you paid? I can't remember now. I think it might have been four. Yeah. Didn't you? I think you haggled her down a little bit. I think she oh, more, five. More than likely, <laughs> I can't really remember, but but certainly no more than five. Mm. I, I seem to have four in my head. Um, it had barely been used, if at all. Um, there was a, yeah, I, I sold it as unused, and I took an offer on that, didn't I? What was that? Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty four, twenty five. So yep, and that's got shipping on as well. So plenty of margin left in that. Mark J Jacobs. This was a really cool thing. This top was all squidgy, like a squidgy flower on top. <laughs> I think flower. I did pictures of it. There you go. Very cool thing. Yeah. Uh, so that was good. More Converse. You've been clearing oh, out yeah, shoes. I sold a couple of pairs of Converse. I think we bought these at a Jumble Trail. 
last year? I don't remember. I might be remembering that wrong. It might have been a different pair. But um, I like yeah, those. They're really nice. If they were my size, I'd have kept them. Yeah. So really happy with that. Weirdly, somebody made me an offer of £16. And before I saw it, they bought them for full price. So, oh, they <laughs> couldn't I, wait okay that long. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been coming to an end. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. Match tax cards. Now, I, I've in this purge of stock, I've, I listed 10 kilos of match tax cards uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then and they sold. I took an offer of 60 on a 10 kilo box full. And then annoyingly, I found another box full because I thought <laughs> I'd got rid of them all. Uh, yeah. This was even more. There was 4,000 cards in it at least, uh, 16 binders, over 200 foils. And, yeah, I got the asking price on that one within, I think, a day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was great. Really happy with that. Yeah, not much more to say on that, really. Got rid. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Skis in August. I'm yes. still chuffed with this one. <laughs> Um, I had a big haul. I met a lady at car boot and uh, exchanged numbers, went around her house and I bought a ton of stuff. Uh, the bike that I've talked about recently was from her, three sets of skis, loads and loads of tools. I've shifted most of that gear now. Um, I only listed these short skis, the longer ones I haven't actually got around to listing yet. And they went for 50, went for the asking price. I had dropped them from 60 because they weren't getting a whole lot of interest. Right. But yeah um so either someone's going somewhere cold to ski or they do indoor yeah but yeah really happy with that they they were just short enough to go by hermes because there's a, a length restriction that was handy then with hermes <laughs> so that they just snuck in under that but the long ones won't i'll have to use no, a no. different courier for them anyway so that was good more stuff gone this uh was another yard sale trail yeah pick up for two pounds oh, we almost missed it because it was on a store with lots of toys and baby stuff and it was just shoved was in a just, corner yeah, wasn't it out of the way randomly in a corner it's a giles and pos and a stone baked pizza oven we were at my sister's just yesterday and they they were cooking in a similar kind of setup weren't they yeah. on a stone thing in the garden really nice um yeah i was going to list it for 30 decided by the time i got around to putting it on i'll add a tenner and it went oh there we go it's obviously been used but was in really good condition yeah. so yeah 40 quid with eight pound shipping uh another yard sale trail thing i think we yeah. shared this in the video as well um a lady had a box of bionicles and hero quest not hero quest is it hero quest what are they called hero factory that's it Hero Quest is that game. Yes, sorry, <laughs> been a long day. And um, she wanted a tenner. I offered her a cheeky fiver. She jumped at it. And yeah, I was surprised this sold at 40. I nearly put it on quite a bit cheaper than that. And then I thought, I'll sod it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll have my cheeky tenner on again. And that sold in a few days again. So yeah, it pays to ask. Uh, so from five to 40 with shipping on top. Happy with that. Now these, I need to do a shout out to Karen Barnes. I don't know if she's in the chat. I had... She is, she's CP Crafts. Oh yeah. Um, I had, I don't know, two or three hundred of these little craft boxes left. Ages and ages ago, it wasn't a video, a couple of years back, I bought 500 maybe, four or 500 of these little boxes. I had cream ones, blue ones, dark blue ones, gold ones, pink ones. Uh, I'd been selling them in, in little boxes of 12 very, very slowly. They'd slowed down to a crawl. Mm. So I decided I'd stick them on as um, job lots. This one sold straight away, 35. I've got 24.99 with shipping on. And then over on the Tatchat group, the Facebook group, I shared on there, is anyone into this sort of stuff? I'm selling these in bulk. I'm selling them off cheap. Uh, and Karen recommended a Facebook buy and sell crafting page um which i can't remember the name of offhand stuck them on there and i got so much interest i sold the lot within a day um and i made another 170 pounds on them now i was already at a couple of hundred pounds in profit because i paid 25 pounds a lot so that was epic um when i come out i'll be able to show you the the stacks of boxes behind me so yeah that was good so they've all gone 
Oh, and one other little thing. This went GSP to America, little Clark air filter from that big haul of tools I had. So good to see that going. That owes me a pound. Yeah. So happy days. I think he, he did make me a cheeky little offer on them, which I took. I don't think I got the 20. Got a little bit less. So yeah, happy days. Yep. So if I come out of here, bear with. Um, how do I do it? How do you do it? There. Press stop. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Yeah, behind me, these stacks and stacks of boxes, that's all of those craft boxes, uh, little gift boxes in there um there's 25 kilos going out to two separate buyers mm -hmm. i had loads and loads of interest lots of people wanted to buy 10 of this color and 20 of that color and whatever and i kind of held people off because ideally i wanted pe people to buy it in bulk mm -hmm. and eventually i got somebody who wanted to buy all the cream and all the dark blue somebody else that wanted to buy whatever else was left i'm just laughing that our notification so, of going live has just come through oh we've been notified we're live <laughs> like 50 minutes in I'm sorry if you're only just getting notifications. I don't know what is up with that. A company the size of Google can't make their notification system work. Crazy. Um, Tamara says, I collect Bratz, Monster High, Ever After and Barbie. Oh, wow. A lot of people do, apparently. We have no trouble selling them. Um, okay, let me scroll down. Oh, it's just jumped right down. One man right. I bloody hate selling bionicles. <laughs> well, I generally don't. I never used to bother picking them up, but that sale really surprised me. Forty quid for. Now you undenied for ages over whether to buy those. Whether to buy them, I know, at ten pounds, and then yeah. I figured if I can get them cheap, I'll, I'll take a chance. But yeah, they were snapped up. Yeah. Um. Cool feeling selling a snowboard. What's that about? talking to Zaheer I think I felt like a boss selling a snowboard in summer last year <laughs> yeah exactly I was I was so happy to sell those yeah. in August skis I mean it's snowing somewhere all year round to be perfectly honest it just seems weird um, um it's coming says why could you only ship the pizza oven to the UK I don't know was that not on GSP I don't know if I had GSP enabled on that I don't know I don't know. I don't remember specifying that on that. Um, one man right saying he's selling loads of bundle items at the moment, just want stuff gone. Yeah, we're both in that headspace at the moment. We're wanting to clear the decks and and just get rid of some of this hoard we've amassed. Uh, geez, Nick, you give a lot of ladies your number. Well, yeah, <laughs> all, in, all in the line of business, don't you know? Okay, let's scroll down and see what else we've got uh darren's in there good price for the binocles yeah i was genuinely surprised it was one of those putting in the price i'm not gonna get 40 quid yeah i think i, I don't know if i had offers on i think sometimes I, I do that when i have offers on similar to your way of thinking yeah. price it higher than i think i can get with offers on if i get an offer at the price i was happy with i'm happy and it just went yeah 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 i was down quite surprised peter cummins hate binocles have loads can't shift them Stick them on in a bundle. <laughs> it worked for me. Yeah. Um, um, Karen says, did they all pay for the boxes? Yes. All been paid. Uh, I just um, PayPal invoiced them. All been paid with shipping on top. So, yeah, that's a job for tomorrow is to package all of these up and they're going out. I can't remember who. I think it was UPS I got a quote from. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, mm, mm, mm. ice cream maker to an Eskimo what 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 I don't know what's going on in the chat <laughs> I don't know I think we dip in like private sort of chat Diana says stuff. crikey I remember those boxes I assume you mean from the from the video I've had them knocking around for years and they've been ticking along slowly I was selling them as wedding favor boxes and it was odd because they they were selling really quite well in the beginning as as boxes to put a, like a slice of wedding cake in or wedding favors in and then recently i just got so fed up with them sat around taking up space just bundled them up and as bundles i got the same if not more than i was selling them in little lots so it's just mm -hmm. like why didn't i do it ages ago but yeah selling direct on that crafting facebook group is something i'm going to try more of yeah that's worked really well isn't it 
effectively you cut out the middleman you go straight to interested parties who want what you want and you don't get charged the ebay fees yeah um i will have been charged paypal fees and that's it yeah. and yeah really really happy with that um mm -hmm. okay oh kirsten's in there hi there oh it's jumped Pete's Retro Collectibles. I sold two barnacles this month, £11 each. Well, fantastic. I mean, there may have been some. This may have been why that went for lots of money. There might have been a few collectible ones in there, but I, I wanted rid. And I was happy to do it that way. Question. Any rude people at the car boot today? Did we have any yeah, rude people? Not really. We didn't get many people, full stop. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was so quiet there. The one we went to, normally at 12 o'clock, you can pay three pounds i think to get in when the buyers go in at half 10 and then at 12 o'clock it's like 20p and then there's usually a massive queue of yeah. about 100 members of the public yeah there's just nobody there but everyone like, was on holiday <laughs> like a wasteland i mean as i said we yeah. sell there a couple of times throughout the year we sometimes go to other ones but and we do well just clearing stuff there's just crowds of people but today i did find a few empty hangers when we packed up though which i think people had had away with a few things yeah people nicked a few bits annoying <laughs> what are you gonna do yeah um okay <laughs> tumbleweed while we read in the chat <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> shazad has never been to a car boot they're fun. They are. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I need a drink. So, what what else were we going to do? I've done I've done all the bits and bobs I've got to share. Yep. I've done We've the sales. Done sales. Don't think we had anything else to talk about, did we? Is that your list? No. No, that was uh, yeah. That's competition. We've done the competition. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we'll just, if there's any questions. Oh, I know what we did what? want to say, that we're not around next Sunday, are we? So we were thinking we might do it Monday before we go on holiday. Yeah, we're away at an 80s festival. Yeah. So we're, we we might do a little live stream. Because I did the live face uh, YouTube mobile streaming thing. So I might do one of them from there. Yeah. I'm going to do a vlog anyway. Yeah. Of yeah, the definitely. event like I did last year. Definitely. No, two years ago. So yeah, we, we're gonna be rocking out to like Belinda Carlisle or whatever, whilst we should be streaming on the Sunday. Yeah. So we'll try and do one Monday and then we're going on holiday. Um, so we're gonna we're try and- 10 days after that, so. We're gonna try and live stream out. from Tenerife. <laughs> <laughs> whilst, whilst your uncle Steve is house sitting, yes. we'll be sunning ourselves. So yeah, Monty's not coming with us. Uh, we've, we've got someone to look after the house and Monty, so that's all good. Yeah um so yeah next sunday not gonna be around tuesday i'll be around for the hangout which will be on z's channel yes i believe yes is it on z no it might be on might be back it's on, on mine. your channel it's this is on mine this coming tuesday it's on your channel i don't know what's going on and then Tuesday. it's on to his while we're yes. away so i don't know that i don't know if you're going to be around or you'll you know, figure it out what's going on then um yeah so, so should we wrap this one up oh we haven't even um, done an hour no well we did have there's, a there's some questions. questions go on then um so if you want to scroll back and see what there's one there one man right question what area of stock are you looking to start getting into for the future i don't know, I don't know. we still want to get back into auctions we haven't done buying at live auctions for years and i thoroughly enjoy it so that's yeah. something Creating space is our mission at the minute. I'll tell you what does fire my interest up is yep. I'm watching to here pick up um, cameras because I've got a photography degree. Mm. Uh, it interests me. And I know that like the 90s sort of um, you know, point and shoot type cameras are they, quite. They are selling up, on, they? is it Depop? Depop, yeah. Somebody, was it you that was telling me yeah, that? Yeah, I was telling you that. Yeah, there are it's people like with just Depop accounts that only sell cameras. So, Depop um, is like um, a cool youth place, yeah, isn't it? But it's That's why I've never been on there. It's very nineties retro. There's a lot of nineties um, retro sports stuff. And um, oh, you nearly yeah. picked up an Adidas bag, didn't you? Or I did. Um, he, yeah, I wasn't sure, and it had lots of marks on it. So yeah, I'll put it back. But, 
but yeah i yeah for future for me i think it's more how i go about sourcing i want to get more i'd like to do more bulk stuff yeah. um the the mega haul we had last year was a game changer for me it really opened my eyes up to the potential of buying bulk um i love buying this sort of stuff um but if you can buy stuff in bulk where it's one listing and you sell 100 items off it yeah well, the mega haul has done us so well hasn't it the bottles all over the summer with the yeah. camping and festivals and that kind of stuff so if we can find it we need to find a decent auction really where i can pick up stuff like that and that might be something i look to get into more yeah. um what other questions did we have do you mean 80s decade or are you going to grab a granny <laughs> yes not, <laughs> not, not a granny the festival decades, yeah yeah 80s um there's a few bands you're really keen to see well belinda carlisle you're excited about seeing yeah who else is there oh nick kershaw nick hayward nick kershaw, I'm looking forward West, to. Yeah. um status quo major lots of people really you um not ub40 um who is it that I get level listed? 42 level 42 yeah we saw them at the last one yeah they yeah. were bad so yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try and live stream while we're there and we'll do a vlog as well and try and get some footage of the gigs and stuff mm. It was great fun last time. Lots of cider was involved. Cider and wine. <laughs> um, uh, never knew Andrea had a photography degree. Sounds like you're both artists. Yeah. And some, then, we, then we went into sales. We're, we're frustrated <laughs> artists, if you like. Yeah, I've yeah. never used my art degree. Um, although I do have a project that I keep kind of half mentioning that involves a bit more of my artistic background that I'm looking to get started soon. Um, I think one man right asked if I sold men's clothes. Yeah, I do. I do pick up men's clothes, um, certain shirts. Yeah. I don't mind a shirt, really, because it's nice and easy to <laughs> photograph and list. But you gravitate um, towards women's yeah. stuff, don't you? You know more about it, I suppose, yeah. which would make sense. Um, I used to do the food on her tour. Belinda Carlisle, that's oh, Andrew. Cool. Um, Indichick says, if Simon Le Bon is there, give him my number. He <sighs> won't be. I really wish Duran Duran would, would do festivals like that. But Duran they're Duran aren't quite, big. they're a bit bigger than the uh, <laughs> little 80s yeah. festival scene. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the headline act is like Belinda Carlisle and yeah, level 42. Major and yeah. So Duran Duran are on another so. level, really. And they're still going, actually. I don't know if they've got new oh, material. They're touring constantly. Yeah. So never seen them live i'd love to see them live that last time i looked at their tickets they were extortionate yeah. more than depeche mode <laughs> aren't all artists frustrated says darren <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah uh, um nick you got some barbie dolls from tesco what did you sell them for i can't remember they all i sent all of those up to amazon um mm. and they all cleared I think we ended up selling them for less than we hoped because of I all that debacle think... where they lost the box and yes and oh if it's those business. ones you mean I, amazon lost a couple of boxes of my mm. stuff when i sent them up i think they were they were going for about 35 by the time they found my stock and kind of reinstated it on the system yeah it'd gone down uh, they'd gone down to about 25 mm. something like that there's still margin in it but that was frustrating yeah. and to be honest with those i could have waited till christmas I probably got more but yeah. in this whole clearing stock mindset we were in that you may have seen uh, i shared on the tat chat facebook group that we were in a supermarket the other day trying to resist buying stuff we did end up buying some ra stock yeah, not a lot though but not a lot there wasn't a lot there really no and we resisted so it was good yeah okay oh heather says that she's going to see blondie oh epic amazes me they're still going i mean they were huge in the late Amazing. 70s for crying out loud debbie harry must be you know is she in her 70s I don't know. 60s i don't know yeah love blondie yeah uh update on merch we're not with <laughs> merch we haven't given any mind to we've not no, sold we anything just... on there we've, we've got a load of I designs have the headspace for it at the moment <laughs> so much yeah, going on no right. we need to sit down and do that probably after we get back from holiday now to be honest mm -hmm. we've got a couple of designs sent up so our account is active because we were warned if you you had a certain period of time if you didn't upload any, any designs they will cancel your account but we do need to get more more merch stuff done um, um scott barrow says um what's the amount of unlisted clothing items 
that you have um, <laughs> do you record each item purchased or the total amount per day with an average purchase price for records no i don't do any of that recording i'm not that organized um no for but... tax we we let's say we spent 50 pounds at a car boot sale that would be logged on the date that we spent it and all of those um are logged in a book for expenses and then we collate that for the year so you have a total expenses which is what tax needs to know we don't do it per item there's, there's no point no. um and then sales we collate all of our income from sales and that's so you got in and out effectively it's slightly more complicated but effectively yeah, that's all, and tax obviously all fees and all that business so we don't really um, record but in terms of how much unlisted clothing items i've got quite a lot hazard a guess i don't know boxes of it thousand items i don't know boxes of it <laughs> but a lot of i've got a lot of stuff kids clothes left from the shop as well so we are going um, to we took a lot of that overstocks today to see what we could sell off and we just didn't yeah. really sell any so we're well, going to try issue, and clear the issue that i have is they had um the children's clothes shop so i still got quite a bit of that to clear and then also um a couple of years back we um, when we first started doing clothing and decided we were going to specialize in that um, we had an office and we had a lot of clothing and when we moved out of that office it all went up into the attic it's recently come down from the attic <laughs> and i've sorted it and a lot of it i was trying to shift today but it just didn't get the buyers there's an awful um, lot of good stuff in there i, I toyed with the idea of, of yeah. because we just need to so move i've a lot. sorted it into things i think is worth my time because most of it needs ironing so um I sorted what I think is worth doing individually and it was worth ironing the stuff the rest of it I took to the boot sale I didn't shift so we're deciding that we're going to try and just bundle it up into sizes and um, do try a few shift bundles it on, like maybe Facebook or Spock or something like that or even eBay yeah, but possibly. we need we need to move it yeah. because you you need to concentrate on the good stuff that you yeah, want exactly. to list not the backlog of yeah. stuff that and you've lost interest in it's really hard to not buy when you see good stuff <laughs> so you spent a lo not a load 16 pounds was it in yeah. that charity shop on a it was only four items because i bought a suit um i bought a really nice caramillion jacket um and a couple of marks and spencer's coats so. yeah <coughs> so yeah Oh dear, you're right. <laughs> I've got a tickly throat. Hold on. Yeah. So I didn't go over. I can hear Monty. Yeah, I can hear Monty. Monty. Well. Hello. Well, let's get Monty and then we'll say our goodbyes. Yeah. Monty, come here. Come, <laughs> come here. <laughs> I need to take him out. Actually, we. You've been neglected, dog, today because we went. Ellen, but we went out to him. the boots and left you at home, didn't we? Right. Well, we'll wrap this up here. So, congratulations, congrats, congratulations. congratulations again to Andrea. We'll be sending your goodies to you in the post. Um, if you didn't see Zahir's live stream earlier, pop over to his channel. Um, he's doing a really cool thing for charity. Uh, there is the link below to his uh, charity giving page. So go over there and help him achieve his target, which I think he's going to blow that target oh, yeah, totally. away totally i mean it's october the 6th he's got a whole month and a bit to go yeah so so, so that's epic really enjoyed watching that stream earlier see and we'll see you guys next tuesday yeah yeah tat chat <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you've not already joined the tat chat group come over there and say hi uh link to that is below right you're gonna say goodbye to everyone Monty. huh <laughs> no doesn't like <laughs> he wants doesn't to, like to look at himself he wants to get down <laughs> right thanks for joining okay. us guys we've currently got a fraction under 200 viewers so if you enjoy what we do please give it a thumbs up really appreciate that yeah. thanks for all your questions and comments hopefully we manage to answer a few and read a few out it's, it's so hard to keep up with it really is yeah. and thanks for the super chats really appreciate that yeah, it's thanks, epic guys. right we'll see you soon yeah have a good week take bye, care guys everyone. bye for now